Hello everyone and in this video I'm going to show you uh, the script that will make wind affect rigid body in Unity 3D. So I have a clean project in Unity 3D. It's fresh empty project and I'm going to import following Unity package. This package contains three materials and two example scenes, script and prefab. I will start with example scene number one. This is where a simple scene, so it contains many objects. It contains an empty, actually it's not empty, it's uh, prefab. I'm going to delete this right now. So red uh, color means that this object is rigid body, white means that it's just uh, a static object. Not really static, but actually not affected by wind. Now we are going to drag and drop this prefab into our scene and make sure that a position of wind dot rigid body is zero, zero, zero. Now we are going to take this remote control from here. Somewhere here. Continue. And now we can use this remote control to set maximum strength of the wind and minimum. Let's try this simple uh, configuration and hit play button. You can see that really nothing happens. Uh, but if you look closer you can see that some objects are shaken so this is rigid body and this object is shaken because the direction of the window is this one so from here to there so the wind is uh, taking all, all the objects that are visible from this side so this, 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 this and maybe this and this one. Let's check it out. Yeah, this object is shaken. You can see this by its shadow. This one is also shaken. This is shaken. This one. This one. This one. And this one. Now let's change direction of the wind. So we're just taking this and we're changing direction. And some objects are falling. Okay, so uh, please keep in mind that uh, this system is not working correctly yet. So don't make, you know, such crazy changes of, of, uh, of direction because sometimes it will work not correctly just make it smooth you know like this not like this Ooh. this is example scene and let's launch a stress test so stress test contains uh, such rooms so this is uh, a room without uh, ceiling and this is a room with ceiling so green objects are objects in the room so this room is without ceiling so the wind so the wind can access this room from here from the ceiling and this room is uh, with ceiling with floor and four walls here four walls floor but no ceiling and uh, settings for wind are different here Let's drag it away. So it's now 5 and 10. So it's stronger wind. Let's try and move it out like this. And hit play button. And you can see that, you know, actually uh, this object can be affected by wind, you know, somehow. Because we, so w we don't have here ceiling and this object must not be affected by wind but sometimes you know it has glitches so this object may be affected by physics I'm, I mean by wind but it should not be it must not be 
let's just try this one so you can see that I am moving this slowly slowly and this object is now on the ground because so the wind came from this side right and went through the ceiling to the room and this is object now affected by wind and this object is standing because it has ceiling over here for walls and floor but uh, look if you move this wind uh, stuff very fast like this you can see that you know it's falling because system cannot catch at the moment when you know it should be you know you know so it's you know cannot find a time to calculate wind you know strength so just you know move it you know slowly like this and it will be okay let's try it again now let's increase strength of the wind let's make it like 15 and 30 so it's extr so it is extr extremal value extremal value so you this is crazy wind you can see it here crazy 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 wind but it's working good okay I move it, it too fast too fast I have to move it not so fast slower slower okay great uh, so the link to this package will be available in description of this video thanks for watching have a good time and bye 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 and have a good time see you later in the next video about something very interesting or maybe not very interesting bye bye